What's up everyone, Lunatic Rider 209 back at it again with another video for you today. And so today we're going to be installing our trigger. So let's go ahead and our get our trigger mechanism housing and go ahead and get our ejector. Most of the time when you buy these, they'll have the injector on them. If not, this is how you would install it. You'd see the slot right here in the front, the arc part like so. You want to install it this way. Push it all the way in until you can't no more with your fingers. Then go ahead and get your punch and finish it off so it's nice and flush in there. Like so. Now we want to get our connector. Go ahead and install it where your connector notch is on the trigger mechanism housing. Push down all the way in. Until it's nice and tight in there. Until it's nice and flat and touching. Just like that. This part's normal. How it does this. So don't worry about that part. Just make sure you got this part all the way in there. Now, you want to grab your trigger with your trigger bar on it and get your trigger spring. You want to make sure the notch part is facing down and that it goes in like this. So we flip our trigger bar around, go ahead, get a better view for you guys, slide it in. Just like that flip it around now we'll get our trigger mechanism housing and you'll see there's a little hole right here you want to do the same thing this notch part go down into the hole like so come on focus flip it around just like that Make sure it's facing down. What I'm talking about is your trigger spring. Make sure that notch is facing straight down with your trigger bar like that. Then you slide it in. Make sure the trigger bar part is on the other side of the connector. Then you wanna snap it into place like this. See, like I said, make sure that your trigger spring is straight. See how it heard that snap? So that's that part. Now let's go ahead and install it into our frame. Get our rear rail, slide it up on your trigger mechanism housing, hold them two together, grab your frame, Slide it in. You'll hear it snap once it sets itself in. Like so. So now we want to get our front locking block. Slide it in. Like so. Get your slide stop lever. Install it on the left side of the frame. Now you want to get your trigger pin. Make sure everything's lined up. Sometimes you can push it by hand. Other times you gotta use a mallet. Make sure it's nice and flush in there. And then you want to get your slide stop lever and move it around until you feel it lock into the notch. Let's go ahead and get our front locking block pin, push it all the way in until it's flush, just like that. Now you want to get your rear trigger housing mechanism pin, 
push it all the way through. Grab my pin, punch, push it till it's flush. Just like that. Now let's do a function test. Everything seems to be working. Let's go ahead and grab our slide and install it. Chamber is clear. Magwell is clear. seems to be functioning correctly. And there you have it. That's how you install your trigger. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. I'm out.